Mason's since midnight. Eyes like frisbees, heed like a badly tuned radio. We slivers of thought, scudding in and out like junk adverts. I mean, it's bad enough that I'm deranged, but new life has to turn me into a deranged insomniac, just in case I get cocky, you know. <laughs> I mean, look at us, look at us. The anonymous fraternity of council estate lighthouse keepers. Still can't sleep, you say? Still can't sleep. Curious. Could you describe your symptoms for me, please? Well, I lie awake at night and my mind whittering on. It's as if I've left my peace of mind in a chest of drawers somewhere. Then I've got to turn out every drawer in the world to try and find it. Does that make any sense to you? How old are you, Mr Nesbitt? Forty-five. I'm forty-three. Sometimes the bags we carry aren't always under our eyes. I'll tell you what, let's really shoot from the left field. Yeah? I'll try a wee bit of word association. I'll say a word and you reply with the first thing that comes into your head, OK? OK. Dog. Put. Man. Kenemy. Woman. Catamy. Church. Converted indoor shopping mall. <laughs> You look as if that's told you something. Yeah, you've told me I've no idea what you've got. But if you find out, please let me know, cos I would have answered exactly the same as you did. Another prescription, then, eh? Another prescription. How are you finding these? Bloody useless, actually. Aye. Me too. There's a lot of it about, Mr Nesbitt, and yet it has no name. What would you call it? Millennium Bug. <laughs> What's up with you? Can't sleep. Aye, the stress of high office can be a terrible thing. Keep talking, Barbara. It helps me cat nap. Well, no wonder. How do you expect to sleep at night when you never do anything during the day? Look at me. All right, let's look at you. How do you sleep? No problem. First full of salmon, next and a quarter bottle of brandy, and I'm out like a light. You see, there you go, there you go. It's not it's nothing to do with how active you keep it. It's a modern malaise, I'm telling you. Garbage. All right, all right. Let's ask Doddy here. Ask me any question, anything you like. How do you sleep? Standing up in the broom cupboard like everybody else. Very <laughs> simple. <laughs> Andrew, where were you? No bother. As soon as my head hits the pillow, I'm off. Off where? Off to the fridge for a tea cake and a nice pot. <laughs> After 20 years of marriage, what else is there to do in a bedroom? See what I'm saying? Everywhere you look. Poor souls pacing a flare at night. See? What were you, Carr? What about me? Show us how you sleep. I sleep? Easy. First, I relax myself like this. <laughs> now you relax? Aye, do on one side, sure. <laughs> what, what happens if you want to relax the other side? Easy. <laughs> no, no, I mean, what? What happens if you want to shut both your eyes at once? At once? Are you kidding? Last time I tried that, I wait and don't be find Ella poised over my wallet with a cheese grater. <laughs> so, in other words, you don't sleep. Get real. Who sleeps nowadays? I dream about being able to sleep. You see what I'm telling you? There is something missing from our lives here. We've established that it's called exercise. I'm with Ori in this one. Mind when we were boys, we were out all the time, climbing trees, playing football. Aye. Boyhood. Your sister's sling backs, your mother's tights. <laughs> Is that just me? <laughs> all right, I'll buy it. What kind of exercise do you have in mind? I jogged in memory lane. Good to the world. Rahab, what are you doing? Oh, eh, yeah, I'm just... I'm just marvelling at how uncomplicated the life of a child is. How safe, trusting and free from adult responsibility. All right. Where are you going? I'm away to play football with my pals. <laughs> well, you better be back in time for your tea. Who are you talking to, woman? I am 45 years of age. 
Now, if you're no back, you're no going to get a pudding. I'll be back. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're short of a goal post. Anybody got anything? No. Yeah. Well, here we go. Medication. Medication. I'm going to get your medication. <laughs> oh, pal. You're not allowed to play there. But there's a gravel pitch out of the back. No, thanks. We'll take our chances. I hate gravel pitches. Every time you go down on them, you come back up with a rash. I know. I had a bottle on that once. <laughs> right, we first pick your kicker. Ah, oh, yeah, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What team are you? Yeah, I don't know. All right, you can be politically correct, you need it. Who are you? We're Tits and Ass Athletic. Tits and Ass Kick Off. Give me your off, Rob! <laughs> oh, Jim, Nick! Andrew! Andra! Andra! Boys, it's the parquet. Like it, boys. Ah, <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you talking about? It's only a parquet. There's eight hours for God's sake. You don't understand, Rob. This is a new millennium parquet. Front to boys. Right, moon, moon. Wait, boys. It's Andra. What about him? I think he's had a heart attack. It's so hot. This is his first. It's a three strike rule. He's got another two before he croaks, isn't he? No, boys. He's turning blue. So? He's a hun, isn't he? I think he's stopped breathing. I can't help it, boys. I blame myself. That's all right, Nori. We blame you too. <laughs> I should have known he wasn't fit enough to play football. If only I hadn't got involved in that stupid argument with Nesbitt. Here's Rab. What's the verdict, Rab? Go ahead, Nesbitt. Tell us. He's dead. Oh, God. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> No thanks to you, you psychotic bastard that you are. What'd they say, Rab? Choked after it, they whapped him straight in his surgery. I'll know whether he's pulled through in the morning. Poor Andra. I feel like half a man without him. Well, I hope your half's got the wallet, cos it's his round. <laughs> Did you hear that? What is it? Nothing. Just a short, awkward silence where a bad punchline should be. Under. Didn't you have gear uh, heebie jeebies this millennium, Kerry, one, did it? Eh? I mean, there's 45 years between her and I. By the time she's my age, I'll be. What's the bear thinking about, is it? I mean, <laughs> let's face it, we're in here. If you hit 50 vertical, you got a telegram for the Queen, don't you? <laughs> Are you still no sleeping? You worrying about Andrew? No. What's one less smurf in the world, eh? <laughs> I just like watching the Wayne. Try to figure out how she's going to turn out in life, you know? She really is gorgeous, though, isn't she? Yeah. Makes me kind of glad I switched them. <laughs> Aye, it takes something like this to make you stop and question life. Obviously, I've only got four brain cells, so when I stop, I forget what the question was anyway. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, aye, aye. It's a fascinating subject, right enough. Tell you what, why don't you get together with all the other fragments of your personality, take a wee stroll down to the basement, open the furnace door and walk in. I'll save natural selection a job, no? Ram. Ram, wake up, will you? Oh, what's the matter? He's tweedled dumb here, he's day my napper in. 
Oh, never mind. I've got to not belong to you, James. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Uh, <clears throat> is it visiting time yet? Yes, you can go in now. That's says boys in we go. Uh, I'm afraid there's only two visitors allowed in at one time. Oh, hi. Pay any attention to a big man. He, he's, he's a vacuum. I mean, <laughs> see for yourself. All right. I'll show you in. He's very weak. Try not to tire him out. A bit difficult. He's asleep already. He died three times on the operating table, you know. Did he? Lucky bastard. You got some amount of birds with a chat up line like that, you know. I'll leave you with him. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Right, boys. Let's get a switch. Hey, he's Wally. No, no, he's Wally. He's Operation Scar. Triple bypass, the dueling scar of the 21st century. A funny magnet of the new millennium. <laughs> this galaxy is not only am I successful enough to afford stress, but I've also gone 12 rounds with a Grim Reaper just to prove it. Aye. Imagine one of us winning one of them. Mind you, it fairly brings the bypass car crashing down market, didn't it? Aye, right enough. When Robin Day hears a govern man's got one of these, you're going to want to take his back to the palace a long way now. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's not as big as you think it would be, is it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. What? It's still a hell of a lot bigger than his wally. <laughs> it's always weird when something like this happens, isn't it? Turns life upside down. Aye. Rab's taking it bad, isn't he? Not only Rab. What about Babette? She's got to me. It's a vulnerable time for her as well. <laughs> oh, oh, don't even think about it. Oh, relax. It was just a reflex action. <laughs> this is about the only action you get in this gaff nowadays. Now that every bastard's turning cranky. Your Rab's got hidden depths, hasn't he, Mary? Men can look awful sexy when they're thinking. No, I don't think I like it, Ella. He's no been the same ever since he came back for the hospital with one of the leaflets. You know, there's a bit. Buddhism. Buddhism is very fashionable these days. Richard Gere is a Buddhist. So is a Buddhist one of the be furry things you stick up your arse? <laughs> oh, no, no. That's a different story, baby. All right, Rab. All right, Mary. All right, my bet. <laughs> You're looking well. Aye, well, naturally she's hoping Andrew will make a full and rapid recovery. But she's pumped on some lip gloss and a fresh pair of knickers just in case. <laughs> <laughs> who's, uh, who's looking after the wings? Maybe. I've just tied them to a paraffin heater and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Rab. You've got to stay plucky, haven't you? Aye, well, grief affects people in different ways, doesn't it? <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, I've come to a decision. Oh, aye. Go on. <clears throat> I'm turning my back on Western civilization. I tell you, the bastard's got a messiah complex. <laughs> Garbage. How long are you going away for? 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm just going to meditate, right? Hear him out, Mary. Where are you going, Rab? The high plains of Tibet. No, no. Somewhere a wee bit closer to hand than that. I've made it one with myself already. There's something about cutting yourself off with society and setting yourself up as a hermit. Well, it puts you back in touch with your essential being, doesn't it? Eh? You bottle a buck fast, a couple of treacle scones, tell Tubby's alarm. 
Oh, yeah. We drop with this will put me in a nice state of Brahma before I go up my scratcher, you know. Mm. Mm hmm. Goranga! <laughs> there, there. Wished while well, you wished. I don't know what's the matter with the way in these days. She's no sleep in my talk. Ah, it's probably the pressure of being at the top of a profession. I mean, let's face it. No matter how cutely you lie there and gurgle, there's always some younger, cuter gurgler coming up behind you, you know what I mean? She's only three weeks old. Are you saying she's over the hill already? Put it this way, if I was a press agent, I'd be rigging up a fatal pram crash, get her name secured and romper legend, you know what I mean? What, rebel without a rusk? <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Mary? I reckon that way would be a damn sight happier if you two didn't gallivant so much. It's only ten minutes past. Aye, ten minutes past bloody four in the morning. I'd never have dreamt of leaving my way for that length of time. Oh, aye. And that's how you's all turned out so well. One son in the jug, another that's done Mayor Charlie and Camilla Parker Bowles, and a feather that's living in a bunker at the 19th hole of the pitch and putt. No exactly Oxo Katie, you daft bitch, are you? Well, if you don't like it, you know what you can do. Look, uh, easy, come on, uh, easy, easy, come on. I, I understand you're upset about that. That's why you're talking to your ass. What? Well, you wished, well, you just wished. Look, easy, darling, come on. Do you think he'll mind? Aye, he's got a hoose by a golf course. He may be a bit posh. <laughs> no. Everyone loves a garden party, don't they? <laughs> Thanks very much for taking us in, pal. It's hell of a cold out there. No matter how long you live rough, you never get used to it. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are the weathermen. The weathermen? Yeah. Uh, why is that? Cos I'm pissed, he's steaming, and he's sodden. Oh, gee. Oh, very good. <laughs> uh, do you care for a wee drink? No, we never touch dinner, we. Like to try yours. Uh, oh, aye, aye, very good. <laughs> we call it 1-2-F. 1-2-F? What is that? Take a swig. In ham. I think I've gone blind in one eye. <laughs> Try another swig. <sighs> I've gone. I've gone blind in two eyes. Good. Try again. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I think we've found a friend. <laughs> you mean you actually had a hoose rub? Oh, aye. You mean we are roofing on it? Oh, jeez, I had a roof. I had slates, drain pipes, windows. All right, all right, don't get flash. You'll find things a bit rougher now that you're skipping, Rob. Oh, I realise that, I realise that. You'll find the days you a bit harsh at first. Eight to twelve, we rake the litter pit. Twelve to three, we go round and round in the underground, remembering the past. And from three to ten, we wander the streets, cursing at the passers-by. Ten till eleven, tennis lessons. What? We don't really have tennis lessons. We just fling it in for light relief. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Death by instalment, Rob. Do we like it? <coughs> think you're mad enough? I think you underestimate my commitment to despair. <laughs> there you go, boy. <laughs> you're all the best, you boy. Cheers, boy. Cheers, Cheers. 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 <laughs> Oh, aye. He's still finding himself. Finding himself pissed in the gutter, by all accounts. <laughs> what about Jamesy? Ach. It's taken Jamesy differently, Mary. He's started worrying about his health now. Oh, Cotter, will you relax? You're not going to get a stroke. I know, but I thought I'd better get some practice in just in case. How about the way, Mary? She's still no sleeping. <laughs> oh, still the same, Ella. None of us have slept a wink in weeks. She just won't stop crying. Eat more. Gosh, I'm on the phone. 
As a matter of fact, what we're trying to do... Oh, please! Dash! No, what? Well, I've got a wee problem here. I think I need your advice. What we? All right, pal, spare some loose change, eh? Can I give your guilt buttons a wee polish? How you fight catching? Come on, chief. Oh, hey, I don't want to bury Betsy, pal. Hey, ho oh, oh. ho. Let's face it, any fool can get religion, but it's a lot more fun getting buried, isn't it? <laughs> All right, missus. Oh, you're looking particularly lovely today. That's a pound, please. Oh, come on, come on, come on. All right, you've got a fat ass. Fifty pence. Only fifty pence, eh? <laughs> Baby Krishna, 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 baby, baby Krishna, 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 baby, baby, baby Krishna. Well, that's solved that then. The meaning of life seems to be a knees up, a good baby, and a sing song and a stupid accent. Simple all along, really, isn't it? No, yet, son. You know what they say? It's all over to the fat bastard squeals. Come on. I've enjoyed today, Rab. It was a great day. I've forgotten it already. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Aye, sometimes you can go for a month and no remember a thing. It's special days like that, Rab, you forget for the rest of your life. <laughs> We're derelicts, Rab. Aimless, rootless, hopeless alcohol. We don't mean to boast, but... Go on, go on. I don't think there's a closing question coming. We've grown very fond of you over the past while, Rab. How would you like to be one of us? One of you? A weather man? Me? Give it careful thought, Rab. It's a big decision. Basically, you'd be going from a part-time alcoholic to a full-time professional. It would mean giving up your house and your wife and your kids to become a hopeless derelict, would you say? What can I say except... Hey, you dirty bastard! Hey, you dirty bastard! Get us back, please! Come on! Just my luck, yeah. In a few years, I could have been the mayor of Cardboard City. <laughs> well, guys? Ah, to hell with it. I'm tired of playing safe. I'm going to cross that line. Do you want a drink? There, I've said it. I feel better. I'll have an iron brew. Well, I've, I've got my liver to watch, you know. Lemonade for me. Eh, uh, large uh, tap water on the rocks. This keeps up. I'll open the laundrette, put dyes in the optics. What about you, Andra? That's very nice of you, Nori. I'll have the three pints my colleagues are too shit-scared to drink, plus one for myself. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Four bags of crisps, lard flavour, if you've got them. That's what I like. A man who's not afraid to drink himself to death. Music to my ears. What can I tell you? I found peace of mind at last. Oh, well, you were always going to get there first. You've got the road map in your chest. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll buy it, Tintin. How come you're so pleased with yourself after all you've been through? You want to know? It's what I was trying to tell you in the hospital, Rab, only you couldn't hear. You were? Who were you trying to say? Death, Rab. Death is the best night's sleep I've had in years. Nay, hey, Crisp, Sandra. Well, this do. Ah, my favourite nightcap. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's good to get some peace at last, isn't it? Aye. I wonder why she's sleeping again. Oh, who cares? Let's just enjoy it. So, you pump your ass out the window and you tell your ugly wee granddaughter the story of your life. How you drank all the drink, ate all the pies and shit logs that you could block the clay. 
<laughs> oh, what a crap, of course. It's surely it keeps a stupid wee yap shut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Snow White goes, who's been eating my porridge? <laughs> Do that again, I'll take the face off you, you stupid wee bastard that you are. The seven dwarfs sprang up and they gave her a severe doing. Because? Because you was coming dwarfs, yeah. <laughs> And you didn't take that kind of shite off of anybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, see, you're right doing the bottom line, we're all weathermen. Even the lasses. So, anyway, as I was saying, the very next day, the show show worker came round to see me, right? And said, Do you want to press charges? And Snow White says, You're bloody right. I want them done for the smutter. <laughs>